Thanks for joining everyone. It is Andrew here from iDownload Blog. Like we have in the past, we're going to check out everything new in the latest beta of macOS Sierra. This time, beta 3. Everything new in this beta is primarily a bug fix, but we're still going to go through the list anyway. Now to start, we're going to go to About This Mac. Previously, there were a couple issues in the storage tab. Sometimes it would not load if a volume has been unmounted, and the purgeable and system sizes shown may be incorrect. Those have both been fixed in this latest beta. If we go to details on, say, the SSD here, there was an issue with the optimized storage, which is a new feature in macOS Sierra, and sometimes watched iTunes movies and TV shows and podcasts would not be automatically deleted even though optimized storage has been turned on. So now once you watch a podcast, a movie, or a TV show, it'll automatically delete those to help save some space on your local hard drive. So that's if this is turned on. That was not working in the past, now it is. Mac OS Sierra is bringing Apple to Pay to the Mac and it'll work inside of Safari with the help of, you know, an iPhone on the outside. And unfortunately, in the previous two betas, there were a couple situations where it would quit unexpectedly on the phone or it would just not complete successfully on MacBook Airs or MacBook Pros. Those have obviously been fixed here in this latest beta, so that is great. Unfortunately, this is not available to everyone yet. That is still for developers as they're testing and QAing this, but for those developers out there, they'll be shrieking, yay, now I know it's not us that's messing something up. It's actually on the Apple Pay side. So those were taken care of. Auto unlock. There was a situation where you would experience no internet connectivity after a successful auto unlock followed by a reboot of their Mac. So that has been fixed. If you're using auto unlock, it does work a lot more reliably in this new version, as well as those bug fixes in the back being taken care of iBooks. So if your iCloud storage is full and you have items that have not yet uploaded to the cloud, you used to have to force quit and relaunch iBooks to get that to, to work again, but that has been fixed. Mail. There was an issue when files attached to a blank email in third-party mail applications, they would not be attached. So luckily that has been fixed if you are a fan of third-party mail clients instead of Apple's first-party mail.app. Inside of the notes application, sometimes adding an attachment or deleting or moving notes may cause notes to quit unexpectedly. That was a big issue and don't worry, that has been fixed as well in this beta. So if you use notes quite often, you'll notice that that has been fixed for you. It will no longer just sometimes quit on you. We're gonna go ahead and now open up the photos app. There were two pretty big bugs in the last couple of betas, notably search results for people using like the people or faces image recognition. Those search results were completely incorrect. That's been taken care of. And comment badges for shared albums, they were not appearing unfortunately. So kind of a pain in the butt but don't worry those have been taken care of in beta 3 so you don't have to keep up at night that you cannot see your comments on any of your shared albums siri had also several different issues which is okay i mean that's a new feature coming out so a lot of bugs to kind of squash sometime using siri to search for photos taking a specific location you know was kind of limited users encountered errors when sending messages with siri uh, when searching photos for Siri, user may not see the search results in the Photos app after it launches, and responses were not shown in Malaysian. So all of those have been taken care of, so those are all fixed in this Beta 3. Uh, Safari also had a few issues. It would just sometimes quit unexpectedly. If the smart, smart search field, the field at the top, is clicked with no history or while history is still loading. So that has been fixed. And then just a few other small issues, some issues with installer, some issues with uh, Chinese handwriting input methods, a few things with core image. For the full list, you can check out the description below. Please go ahead and subscribe to this video for all the latest on Mac OS Sierra, iOS 10, Watch OS 3 and TV OS 10. Otherwise, until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownload Blog.